Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey, and today I was pretty excited. I went to the card shop, which I don't have one very close to me, but I have one that's in a bit of a antique store. It's got a little booth in there, and I was able to find a hobby box of 2021 Series 1. Haven't opened the hobby yet because I watched so many videos of it that uh, it turned me off to it. But I got that in this pack of Bowman which for the two of them, I think I was under 150 on, like a 148 or something like that. And that's a pretty good deal. These, these can go for, I'd say $20, $25 now, probably 20 bucks for one of these. So I told him I would take it. And this is a reward for me. I've been working all week long uh, at the house, doing some painting and yard work. And I got to go back to work now. So this is my reward for a, a tough week <laughs> but it was a very fun week i got a lot of stuff done but of course the 2020 bowman you know the boba Shack, gavin lux luis robert and jason dominguez bobby witt jr the prospects in here so i figured it'd be worth giving it a shot and see what we find in here not a bad pickup whit merrifield who started off the season very hot not a good sign when the first card has a ding in it, but Yelich, Ramon, Lariano, and then there is the Bowman Chrome, Desan Brown, Blue Jays. I'm not familiar with him, but I will set that off to the side. Kenan Smith and De La Cruz first. That's a nice one right there. Christian Pache, his prospect, Chrome. It's not a bad hit right there. And then the Jackson Rutledge, first Bowman Chrome. Nick Solak, rookie. Mauricio Dubon, rookie. And Michael Baez, rookie. So that Pache was not a bad hit. Let's see what we find in pack number two. Junior Fernandez, rookie. Tony Gosselin, rookie. And Yu Chang is the other rookie. There's the Yu Chang chrome. Spinning, spanning the globe, it looks like, from Taiwan. Ronnie Mauricio. The Shirt and Apostle, first. Mackenzie Gore, prospect. And the chrome is Anthony Volt, or Volpe. And Wilfred Ostadio, brother of Williams Ostadio, Vladdy Jr., Jack Flaherty, and Alex Young, rookie card. So not bad. I'm going to see what these camos parallels have. I still think it was worth it. I think I got them for like $15, maybe less than that. Tristan Cases camo, Joe Adele camo. Been very disappointed with Adele so far. Gus Varland, Cabrian Hayes camo, that's a nice one. And Logan Gilbert uh, camo, that's a nice one too. Logan Gilbert was one of the top picks, 14th overall. One of the big ones coming for the Mariners in the next couple years, probably this year. So not too bad. Like I said, Pache, Chrome, and the... Brian Hayes camo will probably pay for that pack but let's get into the hobby I'm excited not just for the hobby just to, just to rip one have some cards I went to get 2020 Donruss to do a blaster box battle with Shane and Dwight they wanted to do a uh, 2021 Donruss and so I ran over to the shop that's about 20, 20 minutes away and they did not have it I kind of figured they would but I was willing to over overpay, but you see right there is your hobby. In case you're not familiar with a hobby box. But we will set this one up and keep out the exclusive four cards. Look forward to see what's in there, but I don't waste a lot of time here. 
I'm gonna blow through these. See what we see what the hits are. That's why everybody watches it. Albert Abreu, Terry Scoobel. I like him. Got potential. There's a judge. Cody Whitley and the first pack because it was sitting on top. Xander Bogarts patch. So nice Boston Red Sox patch right there. Lourdes Gurdiel Jr. There's a Luis Robert and Frankie Lindor. So not a bad pack right there. Starting off with a Luis Robert and the Relic. That is probably my box relic. It was sitting on top. Maybe they do that now so that we know where the hits are and we can hide them. But Andres Jimenez now with the Indians, part of the, line, uh, the Lindor trade. There's the Tatis. Manaya. Garrett Richards, Jacob DeGrom, and Jacob DeGrom. So not a lot in pack two. Tatis, of course, injured. Very lingering, nagging injury. So I'm not very confident that he's going to put up anything big numbers this year. John Means, Giolito. Roman Quinn. Liam Hendricks. And we got a Vladdy Jr. home run challenge card. Set that one off to the side. Hunter Renfro, Griffin Canning, Jake Arietta, AJ Pollock, and Dane Dunning, who actually had a pretty good start, his first start. I'm not sure when he did his second start. I missed that. Mostly because I'm on vacation, and when I'm on vacation, I tend to miss a lot. My vacations consist of a lot of a lot of chores. Being a truck driver, I get a lot, of, not a lot of time at the house, so I got to get the stuff done when I can. Ian Happ, Joey Votto, there's a Jordan Alvarez. He's had a decent start to his season. Cattell Marte, he just got injured, but he was having a good start to his year as well. Oh, that is sick. Now, if you're going to hit one, that is a nice one. Alec Bohm Gold. I'm reaching for a penny sleeve. That is a nice rookie hit right there. Kind of wish it was a Mount Castle, but I'm sure I could turn that into a Mount Castle if I would like to. So there it is. Nice Alec Bohm Gold. I will take that. Big time hit right there. And there's the Nolan Arenado final Rockies card. He should be in a Rockies uniform because considering they are paying his salary this year. They are paying for him to hit home runs for the Cardinals. There's the Eloy. Tough break this year with his injury. I thought he was going to have a huge season. Freddie Freeman. Mike Yastrzemski. Jesus Sanchez, Corbin, and we got the Arenado 86. Love the purple on purple right there. Keep that one. Teoscar Hernandez, pull holes, and walk off for the Giants. I believe that bone paid for half the box right there. So I need something to pay for the other half. Nick Madrigal, rookie. There's the Alec Bohm. Base rookie, Gavin Lux, future stars. This is a nice pack. Kyle Lewis, gold cup. Through the years, Nolan Ryan. Featuring his 91 stadium club. Yep. I always get 91 and 92 confused. But that's a nice insert. Put together the insert sets every year. There's the Acuna. Base card. So far, I'm not disappointed. I mean, the Bogarts. I know some guys that are Sox fans. I can send 
that Bogart's off to. I'm sure trade. There's a Joey Bart. I'm sure I could trade. And Dylan Carlson. I've been really focusing lately on getting my cards. Turning it into guys that I collect. Mike Piazza. 86 tops. Design. I have been selling off some of my rookie cards. Just because I don't. PC rookie cards. And flipping them into. I actually sold two Gavin Lux rookies this morning and bought this box with the money I made on that. So really just been flipping cards to add cards like this to my PC. Ryan Mountcastle rookie. In the hobby box, you pretty much will get every card you need to build the set. I think I saw you get like 90% of your set built on this on average. I already have the set built, but these insert sets I definitely have not finished. I'd like to keep going with that. There's the Michael Lorenzen, Tim Anderson, Evan White rookie card. Got a rainbow foil coming up, looks like. Luis Garcia, Carter Keyboom, and it is a Trey Turner. Nice Trey Turner rainbow foil. The Baltimore Orioles team card. This is a set that I've started working on for my past Orioles um, going back in time and getting their team cards. I actually have right here two of my recent pickups, the Blue Border Parallel and the black parallel number 270. Decided to start kind of working on having their team cards because I think that's pretty cool, at least for me it is. And there's the Alonzo Lux Conforto get up card. So I've been going back in the, I think 1957 is the oldest one I've gotten so far. Go back to like Brooks Robinson's rookie year and kind of start picking up these team cards. Daniel Murphy, Brad Hand, no more Mazzara. Byron Buxton, he has a hot start to the season. If he stays healthy, which is the what we say every year with Byron Buxton, but if he stays healthy, he is going to have an MVP caliber season. Wilmer Flores finishes that one off. I've always been really high on Byron Buxton, but he just... The way he plays, it's just, it's kind of like Mike Trout. He's going to get hurt. Trout gets hurt, seems like, every year. But he manages to push through. Aristides Aquino really needs to be traded so he can get some full-time playing. Because right now he is platooning in the outfield that is crowded with the Cincinnati Reds. Chris Paddock, Josh Bell now with the Nationals. Juan Soto, League Leaders card, and Brady Singer, Rookie card. So I'm kind of stoked so far. I got, I mean, who we got left? We got the Carlson, we got the Mount Castle, we got the Bohm. So we got to get the Adele. There's the Trey Turner base. Another rainbow foil coming up. Alberto Mondesi with a ridge right there. That's unfortunate, but thankfully it was just the Mondesi and not something bigger. And there is a Machado. I just completed his basic top set, all PSA 10s this week. Stoked on that one. Got to get his 2020 back and send that 2021 off, of course. Trevor Bauer. Evan Longoria. There's the Kershaw. His 70 years of tops. His final year with the Dodgers coming up this year. We're going to see how where he ends up. Nixon Zell. 
Dylan Bundy and Mitch Hanniger finishes that one off. So about halfway through. There's the Austin Hayes, just got injured this, this week. The Luis Robert Eloy. Nate Pearson, rookie. Vladdy. Brady Singer, rookie card, 1986 design. And Tavares, rookie card. There's Daniel Johnson, rookie, the Dalton Varsho, rookie. Espinal and Paredes, rookies. They always are together. Got the 70 years of tops, the 1983 rookie card of Wade Boggs. This is actually the um, TDH. I guess that's the rookie card to his last card. 83 to 2000. And the Milwaukee Brewers finished that one off. Got about eight packs left to blow through right here. There's the Bobby Dahlbeck rookie card. And there's the Adele in the same pack. And there is Sweet right there. The Ripken 86 design. Very nice looking card right there. Add that to my PC stack. There's the Juan Soto. And Ian Anderson rookie. So that was a very nice pack with the Dollback and Adele Ripken and the Ian Anderson. So let's see what the final eight packs hold. Pache rookie. Just pulled him out of the Bowman. There's his rookie card. Plutko now with the O's. Julio Urias. Oh, and we're flipping again. Kepler. And we got, ooh, a nice one backwards. We got the black border, Willie Calhoun of the Rangers. Number 270. Very nice. Yamaguchi, Flaherty, Andrew Benatendi now with the Royals. Destroyed that pack as I opened it. Tyler Stevenson rookie card, another nice one. Eddie Alvarez, Casey Mize, and Sixco Sanchez. So there's another four rookies in this one. David Dahl who had a pretty good start to the season. Wade LeBlanc. There's the San Diego or Slam Diego, as the card says, commemorating the four consecutive games with a grand slam for the Padres. Ozuna, league leader of Santander, Harvey, who is on the injured list to start the season. Danny Mendick, Clevenger, speaking of injured. We're gonna get our third rainbow foil coming up right here. And it is the Paul DeYoung rainbow foil. Mike Miner, Bueller, Mookie Betts, and there's the DeYoung base. So we've got five packs remaining, and then we've got our hobby exclusive, which could contain a pretty good hit in there. Bo Burrows, Bo Bichette, Harrison Bader, Flip It. Josh Donaldson, Nationals team card. Alex Gordon finishes that one. So we're down to the final four. Clayton Kershaw's on the back. Bregman, Lazardo, there's Christian Javier, who looked filthy the other night. Spencer Howard, rookie card. Pete Alonzo's base. Yachty, 
Reese Hoskins, and the die cut platinum players is Mike Piazza. So another nice hit there. And Kershaw finishes that pack. Three packs remaining. Let's see what we can find in the final three packs. Tristan McKenzie's rookie card. There's the Otani. Of course, he is all the rage to start the season. Gonsolin Gold Cup. Luis Patino, who's going to be a good one. There's the Bueller 86 design. You Darvish and the Diamondbacks. So I am getting my 1986 design cards. Working that set down to almost complete. Contreras. There's the Mike Trout base. Adamus. And there is the Javi Baez 86 design. Wondering what Javi's going to be doing next year. Chadwick Trump. And Dodgers team card. Final pack. And then we'll open this silver pack. Hobby exclusive. Four cards to see if we find one of these key rookies in there. Rizzo, Severino, Max Fried, Austin Riley, Bo Bichette, 1984 design of the 70 years of tops. It's a nice one right there. Renfro Canning and Dane Dunning for the second time in the box. That is good because I dropped the first one, so it worked out well for me. Now to see what this baby holds. Chris Bryant, 86. Rafi Devers, we do have a backwards card in here. Nate Pearson, rookie. We'll do the slow reveal. Oh my. Oh my. It is a Soto. Very nice looking Soto, numbered to 75. Wow, that is a nice one right there. Could not think of a better player to get on that. Let me put that in a penny sleeve. Put these off to the side. So no brainer on the two best cards in this box. The Alec Bohm, as I reach for my top loaders that are still sealed. <laughs> I just finished off the pack. Because I want to get that Soto in there. So Don't want to waste any time on that. Straight into the top loader. Very nice. So there's the two big ones right there. Very nice box. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was good to be back ripping a hobby box for a change and enjoying some much needed time off. But very cool. So thank you guys for watching. If you're new here, click that subscribe button, turn that bell on for notifications, leave me a like or comment, and let me know what you think of 2021 tops and what you thought of these two cards among the others. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Later, guys.